there was a lot of people making the point, you made it earlier, that Trump looked pretty miserable in court today. And somebody else was having a bad day, Trump's social media company. DJT stock took another nosedive today in the market after they announced possibly millions of more shares could be sold. But guess who was going to get a lot of that stock? Donald Trump himself. And I want you to listen, because this is not bad news for him. It's fantastic news. When all is said and done, Donald Trump could end up with 65% of all of the shares in this company. So sure, you might think, oh my God, he's getting crushed. He's not. Every single share, every dollar is found money. This is all a trick. It, the trick is to get as many shares as he can, and he's doing that and then convert it to cash or a loan before people lose interest in this stock and the party ends. Evan, I just keep hearing every day people laughing at him, laughing as the stock is going down, saying he's losing his shirt, his stake was worth $5 billion, now it's only worth $2 billion. But it is still worth $2 billion. He did not have to spend one single dollar to get it. He's getting more shares. And in, in the not-so-distant future, he could get a billion-dollar payout and it will be legal. Stephanie, this is why I come on your show. It's why I come here to the studio. Because <laughs> earlier I was talking to people that I work with, like, what does this mean, this story about these shares? And we're like, I, I don't know, it seems bad, I guess. <laughs> but this is why we come and talk to you, because you know what's really going on. I mean, the fact is, we know the guy needs money. He's in a lot of position with Nat Ranney to give money to maybe to the, you know, the, the city of New York, uh, the, uh, state of New York for like mm -hmm. a lot of money that has to come up. He needs it. You're telling me it looks good to have a, you know, a, a stock if you can get out of it before it tanks. I guess it makes sense. But um, again, like I now I feel better about the, my own stock tips now that I know that, that it, I've it, heard you talk. It, it's stunning that he's in this position. And here we are, Christy, the company behind the $175 million bond, Don Hankey, that guy in L.A. that was giving Trump this money for, for the bond last week. Well, the, the deadline was tonight for the paperwork that he didn't get in last night. He still hasn't, he still hasn't gotten the paperwork through. But even if he doesn't, hasn't Trump already won? Because what he needed was time and he just got it. I mean, I guess we'll see, but it, it is interesting. The fact that that paperwork isn't in, it means that there are no good answers to the questions that the New York AG is asking about whether or not this company is actually liquid, whether or not they are in a position to actually be stable enough to front him this money. Otherwise, this should have been a pretty straightforward filing. The fact that we haven't seen it, another red flag. Things are very real now in this campaign and this Trump thing with these courts and everything else. We were talking about it for months and months. What was going to happen? And today we're sitting here. There, you know, we've got millions of dollars at stake that he might be having to take away from him. He's in a criminal court. People should think about what exactly this moment is and what a big change it is in this election from back in the primaries when this was all kind of smoke and mirror. At so some day this will all happen. Well, now it's all happening. And, we, and what we're talking about is a lot of bad news piling up for Donald Trump today. When things stop being polite and start getting real, it is bad news. However, Joyce, Donald Trump allies and Trump keep talking about this two-tier justice system. But if you actually look at it, he has not faced any consequences, not from Mueller, not from the two impeachments. Even as people around him have gone to prison for stuff that's happened associated with him, and now he could actually get a billion dollars, how is this man not looked at? besides being the luckiest human out there. Well, I think in some ways that's how he's uh, been looked at up until now, Steph. And right now we're at the point where we find out if he continues to be Teflon coated. Can he get a mistrial? Might there be a, a hung jury here? Or several weeks down the road, will Donald Trump finally be a convicted felon? People have very different views about this case. But in my view, this is a strong case. Much of it is on paper showing that these business transactions were fraudulent. The government has said that they'll be able to establish that he uh, made the, the fraudulent business records in order to conceal or, or aid in the commission of other crimes involving campaign finance and taxes. And the government, you know, is is not bringing this case just for fun. This is not a district attorney who doesn't understand the consequences of bringing a case that's not backed up by evidence. Every appearance we've seen from this immaculately well-prepared trial team has been that they are ready to go and ready to convict this defendant. And if that happens, it will be a changing point in the conversation about Donald Trump and who he is. It'll be a changing point in U.S. history.
Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.